In today's Madden 21 video, I am going to be breaking down my favorite run in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel, uh, I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and click subscribe at the bottom right of the screen. There is a button that is, looks like a bell that will turn notifications on. And I post four times a day here on YouTube tips, strategies, tactics, schemes um, that will help you improve in Madden NFL 21. And so if that's something that you're interested in, I would really appreciate you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. All right, guys. So what we're doing today is we're talking specifically about my favorite run in Madden 21. And it is the wide zone. Now, the wide zone um, is a, a, a run that really Mike Shanahan, I think, made famous with Terrell Davis. Um, it's also been made popular by Kyle Shanahan at the 49ers. And so we're breaking it down for you today. And you can run it out of um, I-form tight, and that's my preferred way to do it. But I do want to show you right now the basic concept is from single back wing flex close HB zone weak. Now, wide zone is typically ran to the weak side of the formation, um, but basically it's a little bit different than stretch. So I'm going to put the stretch in my audibles, and I'm going to show you how they differ. Um, and they differ kind of significantly, especially in this year's game. So stretch is pretty much designed to go to the outside. It's it's an outside it's an outside run. That's the the goal of the stretch. Um, there is a slight op opportunity for you to cut this right up in this area right here. But generally, this run is designed to go outside. And defenses, at least in Madden 21, are going to be you know, focused on trying to stop the stretch, right? That's what at least what I've seen um, happen so far this year. So wide zone, though, is really more designed as an inside run than an outside run. So wide zone, you're really trying to... Um, take what the defense gives you, basically. And so you're going to take about three steps, three to four steps, and on that fifth step, you're going to make a decision. Are you going to go inside or are you going to go outside? As you see here, the blocking, in my opinion, this year is so much better on wide zone or zone weak than it is on the stretch. And I, you can play maker this run to the right, and as you see here, you're going to get this double team. Now that double team right there in that spot Shows the def shows the for um, the real understanding of this of this of this run play, and I'm going to show this to you in instant replay um, in just a second. But when you run this zone run to the wide side of the field, you see you're going to get different types of blocking. The offensive line really, I believe, kind of takes what the defense gives you. And let me show you the mechanics of this running play. So um, you see here at this point, I've got the ball. You see that this lineman is, they're going to block to leverage. You see you get a double team there on that nose guard. He's going to then work up to the linebacker. And my left tackle is going to take my guy, and he's going to wheel him to the outside. This is my cue that I'm not going to bounce this to the outside. I'm going to cut this up. And then you see the wide receiver gets that kick kickback block, and I'm able to then get the ball up the, uh, the sideline. Now, about here, I'm taking one, two, about three steps, and then I've kind of made my decision about where I want to go. And you'll see this is very consistent. I can do this on the right side. Take about one to two, three steps, and you see I'm going to be able to go. Basically, this is going to really allow your uh, offense really to work to second-level blocking, as you can see here. Um, and this is a really, really good running play. You can actually um, cut this play all the way back across. You might have seen Terrell Davis do that from time to time here. But really what you're, uh, what you're trying to do with this running concept, in essence, is you're trying to set the blocks up so that you can either go outside or inside. You're wanting to glide with the blocks. Really, um, what I like to do with this, you know, and this, this run doesn't really, I mean, we're seeing it getting blown up a little bit here in the backfield, and that's why I'm about to go back into I-form tight because the tight ends are what make the difference this year. If you have two tight ends, um, a tight end on either side is going to help significantly, and then a fullback is also going to help. You see there the safety is able to come through. So we're going to go to I-formation. I'm going to show you how to do this out of I-form tight. In literally this run, um, most people's run defense is designed to stop stretch or ISO, and that's why also I really like the wide zone. So I-form tight, and the play is HB blast. 
You're going to see this right here. We're going to take those couple gather steps here, and then we're going to make a cut. We're going to make a read. And if we want to go one on one with a corner, we can do that. But what you'll see here, this is four six bear. Um, and you're going to see, see those kickout blocks? That's what I love about this run right here. And then if you have a Derrick Henry, you have good power back this year. The trucking stick move is really good again. Um, you'll see here again, just gliding with the blocks. You see that 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 corner on the outside right is typically going to take a false step, and you're not going to have to worry too much about the corner. But you see here, there there it is. And there you see there's that early truck. That early truck does a good job at getting uh, separation. So the you know, wide zone, obviously, there's a lot of options as far as running the ball this year. There's a lot of really good running plays. But in my opinion, wide zone is the best bang for your buck because you can take these wide gather steps here and really set up outside ba outside base runs from this. Um, it really serves as a, a run that can really go in every direction. It can go, you can cut it back like you saw I did right there, run it right down the middle. You can glide you can run it, bounce it to the outside here. You see there, Derrick Henry just being an absolute beast gets tackled by the air. Um, but you see, you can run it wide here. Um, if I want to run it, if I want to run it right down the middle, you can see I can do that as well. So wide zone to me, most flexible run. This run uh, just allows a lot of opportunity. Now, if you get wide pursuit, like you're seeing, I'm getting a lot of that. I'm getting uh, most of the way the defense is defending me is it's kind of contained on the outside. Just run it straight down. Just run it straight down. And that is generally, I mean, if you go watch Broncos or you go watch the 49ers, you're going to see a lot of this. You're going to see a lot of that right there. You see how big, I mean, you can literally drive a truck through these lanes, these running lanes. Um, they are just significantly large. For quick three, quick four, quick five, quick six, this running play is going to work the ball up the field in this year's game, especially if you have Derrick Henry. And I really find that literally – I'm, I'm going to click truck right right before, and you see he just works his – I mean, it just works up the field for a quick four, a quick five consistently. Um, there you see there we get that kick out block, but you see Derrick Henry just shaking tacklers off of him. So anyways, guys, if you have not already, I want to encourage you to jump in my community Discord. You're going to be able to find other tips and strategies there, uh, not just for me, but other players. You're also going to be able to practice with players that maybe you've never met before um, that are committed to getting better in Madden 21 as well. But again, guys, this is my favorite zone uh, run in the game, at least right now. The wide zone is still very effective in this year's game. We broke it down a lot last year. I think I did a whole scheme on it last year. It's just as effective this year. So anyways, guys, wide zone, jump in the Discord, and we will be live here in just a little bit on our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll be live talking Madden 21 football on YouTube. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and make sure that you turn those notifications on so that you can check out that video. Also, if you haven't already, there's going to be some videos that are going to pop up on your screen. Give those videos a check out as well. I'm sure they're going to be able to help you in Madden 21.